Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB the Show 19. So September Play of the Month cards just came out, and let's take a look at them. So the Lightning card, the main card, is a 97 overall James Paxton. So once again, Paxton gets a Play of the Month card. Not this year, but he did get one last year, but in, in, whatever, a couple years. He got one before, and it was a Lightning card. So this one right here, 99 stamina, 112 hit per nine, 92 K per nine, 80 walk per nine, 90 home run per nine. Has a 97 fastball, 81 knuckle curve, 90 cutter, 94 sinker, and an 86 changeup. So, is this our first lightning pit player that's a pitcher? I think it is. I think it is, but he does have a good fastball. Cutter, sinker combo always is pretty nice. Changeup, knuckle curve. I feel like his pitch repertoire is pretty good. Hit per nine number is really good. K per nine is not bad. And uh, the walk per nine is pretty good, too. So, I feel like it's a solid card for a left-handed pitcher. Definitely looks like it could be a really good card. So you need to collect 17 of these. Now, I'm not going to go every over every single one of these people. But we will look at some of the diamonds. So we have, these are tops now, some of them. And then obviously, player of the month cards. Anthony Alford. Who's this? Ildemaro Vargas. I don't even know who that is. Alex Young. Victor Reyes. Does he have good stats? Not really. <laughs> looks like a defensive player. Kyle Tucker. Then Brandon Workman. So, closing pitcher, Red Sox. Actually, this card has really good hit per nine and K per nine numbers. Really, really good numbers. Let's see. Knuckle curve, fastball, cutter, two seam. It's okay right there. I don't think that's going to be that effective. But if the, the fastball and knuckle curve, if that works well, then he'll, he should be fine. Merrill Kelly. Hit per nine and K per nine numbers look all right. We got Willie Adamas, which has diamond tiered hitting. And uh, this card looks all right. 104 contact versus righties. I mean, everything else, I guess, is mid-tier 70s, 75, so that's okay. Do or Gold-tier defense, so it looks like a decent card. Then we have Brad Miller as 115 power versus righties, so that's that's big-time power right there. And uh, recorded three two-home run games, interesting. But good good numbers versus righties, bronze-tier defense, a so utility guy, I guess. But he could be good off the bench if you need that. Austin Hayes, center fielder for the Orioles, got good power versus righties. We have Kurt Suzuki has a um, 84 power versus righties. I feel like that should be higher if it's for the top style moment where he hit the walk off home run. But it's it's still a decent looking catcher card. Actually, not really because his defense isn't that good. Then we have Miguel Sano. So this is a top style card that you can already get for free. 118 power versus righties, 95 versus lefties. We got Juan Lagares, 89 power versus righties and 80 versus lefties. Diamond tier defense. So, decent power, good defense right there. Maybe not be a bad outfield option. Marcelo Zuna, I believe he was a tops now too. That got released. Good power numbers versus righties. Good contact versus righties also. Wilson Ramos, great contact numbers. 108 and 125. So, that's really nice right there for a hitting catcher. Defense, once again, kind of poor. And he had one speed. Then we got Kevin Newman. Good contact versus righties and lefties. 87 powers, not bad. 93 vision. Has solid defense, 75 fielding, 79 speed. Can play infield positions, short, second, and third. Looks like a decent card, 91 tops now card. Then we have Yuan Mancada. Actually, I, I was waiting for a diamond one, and I'm kind of excited about this, but then again, looking at his power numbers, they are kind of low. But he does have a 111 contact versus righties, 125 versus lefties, 78 power versus righties, and 52 versus lefties. And then gold tier defense, 76 speed. So, like I said, this is a card I definitely wanted. I hope he gets the finest vote because maybe his power numbers get increased a little bit and that card's overall better. But I do I do like Mankata. He's actually, for my cap, that's the swing I use, Mankata. So, like the swing. And uh, definitely, definitely want to try that card out. Definitely want to try that card out. Then we have T Tommy Edmond. Has good contact versus righties and lefties. Power versus lefties is not bad. 80 vision. Gold tier defense. Another utility guy can play a can play multiple positions right there. So that's good for that. AJ Pollock has good power versus righties and lefties. 89 vision, a bronze tier defense. Decent option, but I'll feel so stacked with like so many good cards. Like most of these cards aren't even making a lot of lineups, but you know, they're, they're still nice to, to have, I guess, if you want variety just to try out some new cards. We have a 92 Chad Green, 98 hit per nine, 119 K per nine, 76 walk per nine. And then 97 fastball, 87 slider, 86 changeup, and 95 two seam. We might pick this card up. Definitely might pick this card up right here. I feel like he should have more than 33 stamina, but 
He has a bullpen arm, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Then we got Yu Darvish. He's the last one minus James Paxton. So Yu Darvish gets a diamond. 1-2 record. Interesting. But 86 hit per 9, 110 K per 9, 79 walk per 9. And he has an 85 slider, 95 four seam, 79 12 6, 91 cutter, and a 90 splitter. So that K per 9 number is really good. Walk per 9 is not bad for him. And his cur I feel like his curveball used to be slower than 79. But it's still good pitch speed differential. And I think his pitching attributes aren't even that bad. So Hugh Darvish gets a diamond. Interesting set. I don't feel like that there's that many like good hitters in this set. Like this might be the weakest set for hitters. But like power wise, I mean, there's a lot of good contact guys. Mankato, Ramos, defensively, like these cards are always pretty poor. And the main cards are pitchers. So that's that's definitely interesting right there. We got James Paxton. I kind of want him though. You know, I kind of want to get him just because he's a Yankee. You know what I mean? But we might go ahead and pick up some of these guys, Chad Green, you know, Paxton, maybe some of these other ones, like Glaber Torres got one. You know, there's a lot of people, or Shella that I want to pick up and try out and stuff like that. So that's what we might end up doing. Let's take a look at moments, see what's new with the moments. So monthly awards, this is probably the new set. You get a monthly awards pack. Are the moments pretty easy? Tally three hits, strike out nine batters, tally two hits, strike out 14 batters, tally two hits, extra base hit. Break out a batter, do not give up two runs. Tally two hits in a home run. Pitch three innings, strike out five batters. Strike out 12 batters and win a game. Looks pretty simple. And they're all on veteran or rookie. One's on all-star. But it doesn't seem like any of them are like comeback games. So <laughs> they, they all look fairly easy right there. And it gets you a free monthly awards pack. So let's take a look at... There's new tops now, right? Or no new tops now? There should be another tops now. No, there is no new tops now. Okay, no new tops now. Why storyline up here like there's a new storyline? Interesting. Maybe there's going to... They bring a new storyline. I kind of want them to bring a new storyline. But I don't know if they're going to do that. And then we have that one right there. I still got to do these right here. And any, oh, they did bring new ones right here. Choose one player. Earn one voucher. AL and NL wildcard. Play these moments for the 2019 AL and NL all card games to earn exclusive postseason cards so that's interesting right there i think that's something new and we're getting vouchers for something so i'm pretty sure this is like replacing the tops now but this is for the postseason so yeah that that's probably what it is right there that's probably what it is hit a home run with grandal pitch three innings strike out four batters with strasburg pitch two innings with pomeran strike out two batters not give up a hit win the game juan soto so kind of that comeback that was a crazy game, too, that Nationals and Brewers game. Tally two extra base hits with Yandy Diaz. He had big, two big home runs in that game. And then pitch three innings, strike out four batters with Luzardo. So I'm pretty sure this is what's replacing tops now for the postseason. And you get a voucher or a postseason card. So postseason cards obviously probably come out at the end of the month. I think because it's a postseason, we can assume these cards are all going to be diamond they all should be pretty good and at least one player from each team you know i think that's what they've done in the past especially last year you would get one diamond player from each team and then maybe some teams get some extra diamonds so you definitely want like a certain player to have good performances throughout the playoffs like i want i want judge to go off i want a diamond judge that's much better than his live series that's that's like the only card that i really want so did they do anything special for monthly awards like if you collect them all doesn't look like it doesn't look like it. I feel like they should, but like, I don't know what the reward would be. <laughs> you know, like what if they did this and then the main reward is like a 99 trout or something or like whoever the MVP is, that would kind of be dope. But that then again, like, I don't think a lot of people would like that. You know, you'd rather just have that finest trout and uh, get them easily. But I'm pretty sure finest cards also come out next week. I guess we can look at the schedule. If you guys are trying to buy packs, they're 10K in the market, which I think is the cheapest that they've been. There's also new signature packs out. 35k we got a 99 walter johnson okay 125 stamina 97 hit per nine 118 k per nine 97 walk per nine as a 99 fastball 95 sinker 80 curveball and an 84 changeup. so you get another walter johnson card definitely looks interesting like that fastball is probably really good the, the sinker is probably really good his per nines are really good off speed looks all right. I, it might be an effective card. I, I don't even think I used the other Walter Johnson 
to like really know how good his motion is and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it's kind of a slow because he's an all time player. But looks interesting. Let's see. What's the what's the other new cards? The other new cards. We got Paul Molitor. So 99 overall, 114 contact versus righties, 125 versus lefties, 73 power versus righties, and 78 versus lefties, 123 vision. So silver tier defense and 88 speed. Actually, not a bad card. 88 speed, high contact, high vision. Definitely fits that contact meta. And he can play third, first, second, and center field. Definitely not a bad card right there. And it looks like he's the mid-tier card. So it might not be that bad to get. And then I think the last one is Matt Holiday. 96 overall. Has 111 contact versus righties. 107 versus lefties. 91 power versus righties and 89 versus lefties. 97 vision. Bronze tier defense, 58 speed. Can only play left and right. Surprised he can't play first base either. I think he used to play first base, right? But good contact numbers. Power numbers are bad. Pretty good hitting attributes right there. So those are the new signature series cards. You can pick up two of them for 35k. I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. Maybe not today, but eventually we might. We might pick up one of these later on, too. But I definitely want to do those moments. I still got to do August moments, too. So when I do those, we'll open up like all those Player of the Month packs and see if we get anything good. But if you guys open up any packs, let me know what you guys got. And if you guys are opening up any series packs, let me know if you get anything good. Because that Walter Johnson might not be bad. Definitely looks like a solid card. I think that's all for like what's new. So updated schedule. On the 9th, we have Finest Twitch Reveal. SDS Streaming revealing 10 fan voted Finest Players. And then on the 11th, Postseason Events Build Your Squad with players from the ALCS and NLCS ranked season ends on the 15th so another new world series award coming out on that day and stub sale ends on the 15th also so that's the upcoming schedule right there looks like we're getting some new content next week finest cards at least they're revealing i don't know if they come out next week wow those cards actually look really nice 89 strasberg 89 do we get to pick these players right away? Let me see if they're in the market. Because those cards don't look bad. Is there like a filter for this? 2019 postseason. So there is four new cards also. We have Asus Luzardo, 98 hit per nine, 99 K per nine. Has a 98 fastball, 86 changeup, 83 curveball, 97 two seam, and an 84 slider. I kind of like the postseason look. You know, definitely a clean design right here. 87 overall card. Doesn't look bad. Then we have Drew Pomeranz. 106 hit per nine, 102K per nine. Actually, those are good per nines for a, a relief pitcher. 96 fastball, 85 knuckle curve, 88 two seam fastball, and a 93 cutter. Then we have Yandy Diaz at 70 contact versus righties, 105 versus lefties, 65 power versus righties, and 111 versus lefties, 85 vision. So really good against lefties. Another player that's kind of a utility player. And diamond tier defense, bronze tier defense. Then we have Steven Strasburg. So he has 89 hit per nine, a 100K per nine. 92 walk per nine, and he's a relief pitcher. Yo, he might he might be the move in the bullpen. He might be the move in the bullpen. I definitely can see this card being really good. I definitely like it. He's definitely going in my bullpen. I think this could be a solid card. 96 fastball, 86 changeup, 83 curveball, 88 slider, and a 95 two seam fastball. Definitely a nice card right here. No, I, I like that one. So these are some of those postseason packs. And they're not really vouchers. You probably get them right away. So, uh, yeah, this, this looks really nice right here. And hopefully that choice pack you get, I don't know if you can get these cards, like, right away. But hopefully it's, um, like, I want that Strasburg card. Definitely want that card right there. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, definitely interesting right there. So that's going to do it for this one. I think it was a good content update. We got new signature series cards, play of the month cards, these postseason cards, which I actually think are, are pretty solid, especially that Strasburg and then new moments and all that stuff. So let me know if you guys are opening up any packs. If you guys packed anything good. What you guys think about all the new cards that got released today. And until the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. Drop a like on the video. And I'm out.